Okay, this is the hard sync tutorial for Key2Sounds Nexon. You can find this on page 75 of the Nexon manual. You can download a demo copy of Nexon from our website at key2sound.com. Hard sync is a technique where one oscillator resets another oscillator's phase each time the first oscillator has completed one cycle. Uh, the two oscillators are therefore hard synced together, and this tutorial will show us what hard sync does and why it does it. Uh, let's make a pad sound based on a lot of hard synced saw, a pulse width modulated square, and a stack running through two stereo filters in parallel. Uh, we've got next and open, obviously. Let's go ahead and go to the preset browser view. Go to the tutorials folder, open the empty preset, and let's save this real quick. Call this one Space Odyssey. After we've saved it, we'll go back into the edit view. And first, let's open oscillator 2 in the amp envelope and make some changes to these modules. Oscillator 1, we want to turn stereo on, key sync off, turn the hard sync on. We're going to turn the waveform to saw, and we're going to set the semitones to 13. Then we're going to set the amplifier to negative 6 decibels. On oscillator 2, we're going to turn the key sync off, turn the stereo on. We're going to use a pulse waveform, which is under the classic pull-down. And we're going to set this amplifier to negative 5 decibels. we make some changes on the amplifier envelope. We'll leave the delay at 0, the attack at 8, the hold is going to stay at 0. Sustain, we're going to set to be 54. The decay is going to be 92. And the release is going to go to 62. Alright, so we've made some changes now. Let's go ahead and uh, play a note, a couple of notes, and see what it sounds like. But first, let's turn hard sync off. And then when we play these notes, we'll move the semi knob in oscillator 1 and uh, compare the sounds afterwards by turning hard sync on and doing the same thing. So that's with hard sync off. Let's turn hard sync on and play the same thing and move the knob. Alright, so you should be able to hear the difference between the two sounds right there with hard sync turned off and then on. When we're all done, um, Playing around with that, we'll leave the hard sync on and we'll leave the semitones at 13. Let's make a pitch sweep now. We can do that very easily. We can make an automated pitch sweep for oscillator one by using the matrix module. So we'll turn the matrix module on. And uh, it, when it opens up, its source is set to the mod envelope. We're going to leave it at that. And we're going to tell destination A that we would like it to control oscillator one's pitch. We're going to tell destination B that we would like it to control oscillator 2's pulse width. And then we have to tell those destinations how much control they get over those uh, specific settings. So we'll go ahead and turn de destination A up to 26%. And then we're going to go ahead and turn destination B down to negative 81 you can see that I've simply been making these changes as I go along by just clicking in the value boxes. It's a quick and easy way to make a modification rather than moving the knob. Um, now because we have the mod envelope controlling these destinations, we need to actually turn the mod envelope on. And so we'll go ahead and enable it and after it's open we're not going to make any changes here. We're going to leave everything the way that it is when it uh, first opens up. And now let's play some uh, notes, and we should hear sweeping sounds, so let's see what this sounds like. Alright, so that's a pretty obvious sweeping sound now. Um, the sound stays in tune because hard sync is enabled on oscillator 1. Um, but let's make this sound a little bigger. And uh, we said earlier that we were going to use three different waveforms. So let's enable oscillator 3. 
and make some changes to it. We're going to turn stereo on and keysync off. The waveform we're going to use for this oscillator is the super saw, which is under the stacks pull down. We're going to set the we're going to leave the semitones in negative 12 here and then we're going to turn the amplifier all the way up to 6 decibels. So we can hear the sound starting to change now. <laughs> has a little bit more body to it now, but uh, let's go ahead and add a filter sweep to it to get a sort of a spacey sound. Let's turn on filter one and the filter envelope. You can see we're starting to fill the screen up now, so if we want, we can shrink some of these modules that we're not really making any changes to. And that'll keep our screen small and let us navigate quickly and easily. Uh, on filter one, we're gonna leave the type at a low pass 12 decibel filter. Let's turn the envelope up to 100. The velocity, we'll go ahead and turn to 92. We're going to bring the cut up or the cutoff real high up, which is basically all the way, as you can see. And then we're going to make some changes on the filter envelope. The delay is going to stay at zero. The attack is going to go up to 83. The hold is going to stay at 0. Decay, we're going to move up to 106. Sustain, we're going to move all the way down to 0. And the release, we will leave at 127. We're going to make a change to the expert settings of the filter envelope here. We can do that by clicking the expert pull down, and we can see we have some, some more in-depth and detailed settings for this envelope module now. The attack slope we're going to leave at linear, which it already is at, which is the center position. We're going to do the same for the decay slope and move that up to the center position, which is linear. After we're done with that, we can go ahead and shrink the expert section. We can even shrink the filter envelope if we'd like. And uh, let's see what that sounds like now. <laughs> So we can hear how we're, uh, we're starting to add the filter sweep right there. But let's make the sound evolve a little bit over time by adding a uh, low frequency oscillator. So let's turn on LFO1 and make some changes to it. Let's use a triangle waveform in the LFO. Let's bring its rate down kind of low. We're going to set it to 3 hertz. The attack we're going to bring up so as to give this a gradual fade in on the LFO. We'll turn that to uh, 57. We're going to turn the FM up to 56. And the spread we're going to go ahead and turn to 87. Let's also make some changes here to the matrix now and have the uh, matrix controlling the LFO. And uh, so to do that, we're going to set the source rather than mod envelope we're going to have the source be the mod wheel. In fact, actually, let's go ahead and rather than doing that, let's just use the mod wheel setting on matrix 2. And we're going to set the destination A to be uh, LFO 1's rate. And then we want to tell it how much to control. Let's do 100%. We'll leave uh, destination B just turned off. And let's play this now and see how it sounds. So as I'm playing there, I'm moving the mod wheel on my MIDI controller. Um, and uh, you can hear as the sound slowly evolves with the LFO rate being controlled by the mod wheel. And, um, and that gives this obviously sort of the, uh, the spacey sound that we wanted to get out of this uh, preset. So uh, I hope that we've shown you here what hard sync can do and how you can use it to... Uh, 
to your advantage when you're designing presets in Nexen. Um, if Again, if you haven't already downloaded a copy of Nexon from our website, you can get your demo copy from key2sound.com. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at key2sound.com. And uh, leave us comments and let us know what you would like to see in a tutorial. And um, we'll, we'll work to help you out in any way that we can. Thanks for checking us out. We'll see you next time.